Well, I'm actually standing in part of the $13 million renovation that's happening here at the Gerald Ford Museum. Let's find out what they're doing to make this museum extra special. We basically took it to the bare walls, down to the cement floor. It will be a whole new museum experience when it is finished. And now we're going to have interactives where people can dig deeper. And the openness and the spaciousness will make it a much more pleasurable experience for the visitor. Just to show you how big this project is. Uh, we uh, spent much more than the original building in developing this new exhibit and the Learning Center. The design and planning part of this project started nearly six years ago because a typical museum space has about a 15-year lifespan before it needs to be redone. Taken out all of the old exhibits, we've repurposed those where we could and we've rebuilt everything from the floor up. There's also an 8,000 square foot addition. We were entering into one of our state-of-the-art classrooms as part of the DeVos Learning Center. Before the addition, the museum didn't have a lot of educational space for students. The thing I'm most excited about is uh, really increasing the schools that we're getting kids from, increasing our attendance, um, and just really teaching kids our whole mission. And if President Ford could see this today? I hope he would be pleased uh, to, to see the museum reflects the times, the current historians, and all the stories that have came out since his post-presidency. The newly renovated museum will officially open June 7. On June 6, there will be a big gala celebration like there was back in 1981. In Grand Rapids, Steve Zagman, back to you.